If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can create non-inventory parts in the item list for items that are bought and or sold, but not tracked as inventory parts. QuickBooks tracks neither the quantity on hand nor the value of non-inventory part items. Like all items, you create non-inventory part items by first opening the item list. To create a new non-inventory part item, click the item button in the lower left corner of the list window and then select the new command. In the new item window, select non-inventory part from the type dropdown. The fields that appear in the new item window are similar to the one shown when creating inventory part items. First enter a name for the part into the item name slash number field. If you want this part to be a sub-item of another part, then check the sub-item of checkbox and then select the main non-inventory part item under which the current item should be categorized from the adjacent drop-down menu. If needed, you can enter a part number into the manufacturer's part number field. Enter a description of the part to display in invoices and sales receipts into the description field. Then enter the price, set the tax code, and assign the amount to an income account by using the account drop-down. For non-inventory parts which are purchased for specific customer jobs, you can check the This item is used in assemblies or is purchased for a specific customer job checkbox to change the fields available. If checked, the fields available will be the same field shown when creating inventory part items. In this case, enter the information for the purchasing aspect of the item into the field shown in the Purchase Information section. Then enter the information for the Sales aspect of the item into the Sales Information group of fields. This allows you to use the item in both purchase and sales transactions. After you have created the non-inventory part item, click the OK button to save the item into the item list. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.